Greetings everyone and welcome once again on Honeydew Farms XL. Last time we had our first harvest so now we should have plenty of food for our pigs for the next days. As a reminder we started this season with just 20 pigs, 20 sheep and 20 cows. So we are going from there. One of the three crops that we harvested last time was barley, uh, as I said, as a food for pigs, and it leaves out straw, which we gonna uh, have a good uh, use for it as bedding for cows and for pigs. I don't know if it's, no, I guess it's not mandatory as opposed to water. You may not use it, but if you do, you get an additional 10% uh, uh, efficiency. I guess in real life, <laughs> you should use it uh, as a bedding. I guess if not, your animals may get sick. Uh, I don't know if they, uh, uh, if giants implemented this mechanic yet in uh, into the game. One thing to notice is also that if you don't use your field, uh, you'll have uh, weeds on it. As you can see and weeds also will have different uh, states of uh, growth but what is great is that I discovered you'll see it uh, I guess this episode later is that uh, if you're uh, directly seeding uh, then the weeds will be gone because uh, when directly seeding you also uh, basically cultivate so this will uh, completely destroy the weeds which is great because if not then uh, you'd have to use some uh, herbicide but you know uh, herbicides are quite expensive in this game and especially for us uh, we're playing at the highest difficulty uh, which means that the prices are uh, quite low well they're, they're actually the lowest possible so yeah, we made ourselves, uh, our life more, uh, you know, harder. So uh, it's great that uh, we don't need to um, kill the weeds one additional time. It suffice just to reseed the field. Of course, mainly we'll have to produce uh, corn as it's the base food for pigs. Uh, and uh, you cannot directly seed corn. Obviously, you need to cultivate the, uh, the field first. Although, although I must say, I, I've seen, I don't know, you know, if it's uh, how realistic it is, but I've seen on YouTube uh, people directly seeding uh, corn. So I guess in some parts of the world, this works. And here you just saw the next um, growth, growth state of, of the weeds. So it's a good demonstration uh, of this. As we are fast forwarding, our uh, animals uh, happily multiply and uh, wool gets, gets produced, milk gets produced and pigs <laughs> get produced. Okay, so now I took some more additional loan and I bought the nearest field. Uh, this is one of the cheapest fields on this map. I paid for it uh, over 300,000. As other ones, uh, other uh, fields are like over a million each. So I took the chance. So now I'm gonna have uh, two fields. Um, I did not intend to buy this field right away, but I saw that it has the right, uh, the right uh, crop on it. It has barley, which is useful for us. For example, if it had, I don't know, like oat, it wouldn't be as useful for us. So, or for example, if it had uh, some potatoes, but barley is what we need. So I took the chance, except that just like in FS17, when you buy a new field, it's not cultivated. So we'll have to, well, it's not um, fertilized. So uh, I'll have to fertilize it at least once. And I think I won't be able to fertilize it twice because uh, I won't have enough uh, growth stages to do it. In the meantime, um, 
I will mow some more grass on the sides of my fields. This time mainly to produce uh, hay. Because uh, as I mentioned uh, in the in-game uh, mixers you have to use hay, uh, not grass, to mix it with silage and optionally straw if you want to produce this power food. So I decided to make myself some hay. And you'll see it later, I will have a surprise. Not a good surprise, like a negative surprise. I'm trying to maximize my passes around my around my field to get the most out of uh, this uh, grass. Okay, enough mowing for now, next we'll have to dry out the grass and for this I should buy some new equipment. Yeah, I guess I forgot to mention but I'm reseeding my field, my first uh, field, uh, this time only with uh, soybeans on it because I'm uh, quite low, low on soybeans. Uh, so as I was saying, I need now to buy a, a tether to dry out the grass. And this time I went for the uh, largest one. Because I thought, uh, you know, since it's larger, we're gonna need less passes. And this is the surprise that I had. So it looks like we have the same problems that we had in FS17. As you can see, not all the grass uh, is dried out in one pass. I don't know what's the problem, what's the glitch. So uh, I decided to go and buy the medium size um, tether, the one that is, I think it's 8.7 meters and to try it out and although in some places it's better it's working better but not always as you can see still some patches of grass uh, remain uh, remain as grass unfortunately uh, and this is really a disappointment for me because you would think going from one generation of the game to another generation of the game you would solve your problems but it doesn't actually solve the problem and what I noticed that in in some directions it's working better than in others so as you can see in this direction it's almost uh, ideal it's almost working perfectly but in the opposite direction it's actually quite bad so yeah what a disappointment this this actually disincentivize you into, you know, to use this um, haymaking mechanics. So, I guess I'll try to avoid it if possible in the future. Um, you know, even even if this will require to modify the mixer and make it accept grass instead of hay, because as it is, uh, as you can see, I'll spend I'll spend too much time running back and forth just to uh, produce this hay and again in this direction it seems to work 
almost perfectly. But backwards, it's a total mess. And the speed is not the problem, I try to uh, go slower and it's the same thing. So it's not like the speed is affecting this. I guess in real life, uh, the speed could affect this uh, process. So here, here I'll have to give that a second try, a second pass. But yeah, you can say it's just version 1.2, so we still have a lot of things to, to fix. Uh, I guess still uh, FS19 doesn't game as bad as some other games. Like recently I was looking into X4 Foundation and I found out that uh, the game as it came up out is almost unplayable. So yeah, when you look at those games you understand that still S19 is not that broken. Although considering that we are already at patch 1.2, there there were some things to to patch to fix, and there are a lot of things to to be patched uh, even now. Yeah, initially I wanted to complete uh, the wind rowing and then the loading of the hay in this episode, but since it took me uh, more than I wanted to do it, I guess we'll have to finish it in the next episode. As for this one, it's almost over. So guys, as usual, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestion uh, about the direction in which we should uh, evolve in this season, then please let me know in the comment section below. I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye!